Okay, traders. I hope everyone had a great weekend. It is, it's bang on 11 o'clock. It is pretty much 11 o'clock. It is the 23rd of October, 2017. Let me just get my chair adjusted there and I'll sip the coffee. This is the New Zealand US dollar though, four hour time frame. And if you do watch either my Instagram stories or my YouTube, uh, thank you. And I would have mentioned that I, I don't trade on Mondays. I've said that time and time again because this sort of stuff happens, and which is a good thing. So if we can sort of be held within this range of, you know, the 69 mid to 70 cents price range, uh, yeah, even if it comes a little bit higher, even comes up to here, you know, that's early 70 cents, that's fine. But I think the damage has been done on this pair and further collapse is, you know, I think – more likely than not, nothing's a certainty in this world, so you got to remember that. And I mean, really, an entry around look around that low there, which is sixty nine four six one. So I'd be looking at uh, a low forty, so sixty nine forty is a possible entry. And I'm just going to get some lines. In. will make is a magenta. All right. I think I used orange before, but I've already got orange here, so I don't really want to, you know, don't want to confuse people. All right. This stop loss is subject to change as well, because obviously it's going to move from now to probably going to be more than 24 hours till I actually take the trade. It'll be probably in the evening on Tuesday. And so this is the, the setup. How many pips is that different? 155. Okay. So we'll look at 155 pips between the entry and the stop loss. So again, I still look for price action. So I'd, I'd look for something similar to that. It would be nice. And... And uh, then we'll go in for an entry. It will be 1% at risk. And I think that's probably concluded the New Zealand US dollar talk. Now, Aussie, Kiwi. All right. So my concern is that this gapped. It's, it's just a little bit concerning to me. That candle was bigger than the New Zealand US dollar candle, I believe. Yeah, you, you see, I prefer a gradual. I, I don't think I'm going to play the Aussie Kiwi, unfortunately, guys. So this will be the main focus. And I may even go half a percent, trailing half a percent with a fixed risk to reward. I just want to also peruse around and see if there's anything else going on. What about the Aussie dollar? No, not really tradable. So this is more just an Asian session update. See how everything opened and how it's all chugging along. Very, very choppy on the pound, so I won't be trading that. This is just from a trend trader's perspective. Whoa, USD yen, USD yen. I missed this gap play. I'd like to see this close the gap. Then USD yen is a potential. Wow, over one one three. So it's busted out of that. Uh, busted out of the resistance. Okay. This will be someone to watch as well. USD yen and also New Zealand US dollar. I'm going to keep it to that, guys. Wrap this video up. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day and happy trading.